Phil. Hello, everybody. We're gonna go see if we can take out that mining carriage out there. I think we've got enough juice. We are at 100% energy. We've got our lights off. And hopefully this thing will not kill us. It's a ways out, so we'll have to go straight for the, the doors and get into the cockpit. Then we can take out the uh, nuclear reactors if, if it doesn't kill us. Now, when dealing with the mining carriages, what you want to do is you want to, as soon as you get in enough range, or if you're using a camera, see where the antenna is facing. The top side is where the antenna is going to be pointing up, and that's going to be where the Gatling turret's at. So we're going to try to avoid that at all costs. We're going to flip on our dampeners and keep pushing forward. That'll get us so we're going in a straight line towards it. So far, so good. Do, 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 do. See that green turret? Maybe. I don't know if it's going to come into the video, but you can also see the red there. And it's shooting at us. Let's see if we can maneuver in a little bit better. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Whew. Grinding takes forever, so if you go into your inventory, release the button, and go back and escape, you should be good at not having to hold this down. <laughs> I guess it doesn't work if you try to do emotions, too. Control of the carriage. Turn it on the dampeners to make it stop, and we're gonna start heading it back to where our little starter ship's at. Can't power it off because we don't have control over the reactors, so we're gonna come right down here. Grind out the small reactor, then rebuild them really quick. That'll give us the ability to power down the ship, which will cut the power to the Gatling turret up at the top. Let's make sure that's all the way cut. Sometimes if you get close to that line, it doesn't let you take over control of the block. Just one more of these. Each of these should have the 10 uranium, which is going to be nice. Back in the control area. Get the power off. We're going to take over this Gatling turret. And we're still running with our initial dampers off, so while we're doing the grinding of this ship, we're getting back to our main place. And one of the other things that we're going to end up doing is taking out the, the cargo containers and, um, you know, the so-called space engineers hacking the 
where we'll be able to gain access to the, the containers. We're going to turn the Gatling turret off so it doesn't shoot itself accidentally. Or any other piece of the ship that we haven't taken control over, more importantly, right? Yeah, I like to cut off the beacons and the antennas. It's more of a safety precaution if you're on a multiplayer server that, that has cargo ships enabled. You want to make sure that you, you cut them out so people can't find you when you're stealing these ships. Still have 6,000 meters to go, so plenty of grinding to do. up at the front so we can connect it to our main little ship take all the stuff from it and if we're lucky it might have a bunch of cobalt in there and you know breaking down the the pieces will give us a lot of the the motors and stuff that we're looking for we should be able to make a couple tiny little ships out of this or something these large cargo containers aren't really worth it Per the size of them, space-wise, um, if you put out, what is it, three by three by three, uh, what's three cubed, I'm 27, so if you have 27 of the small cargo containers, you'll end up having a lot more storage space, and they take up the same physical amount of space in the game. And one of the things that you can do to get around the annoyance of moving things around is either writing a program or downloading one of the item sorters that's uh, so freaking useful. You want to do that. One last cargo container to go. It's a small cargo container. Gives us access to the reactors and everything else from this position. All right, we're gonna jump back in. We still have a bit of a ways to go try to aim it so we don't hit that asteroid. Uh, that's what we forgot to do. Turning off the beacon, which is named Mining Carriage in Antana. And where did I park my ship? It's that giant thing right there. One of the other reasons why you want to paint everything black, even looking right at it, I did not see that. We'll line this ship up right next to our little starter ship and make it a little bit easier, quicker to do some grinding, grab a few of the pieces, um, just transfer the stuff between. Um, as long as we don't get too close, at our thrusters burn it. We should be pretty good. So, this spaceship has a bunch of the landing gears, and it really doesn't need any of them. So, we're going to start jacking some of them and try to make a few pieces to hook this up to our other ship until we've got the space to grind it down. We got motors. 
We just need five computers. We should be able to make that if they're not already made. Let's go into our refinery. Look for some silicon. Throw those at the front. We'll have another arc furnace coming up quick. Ah, pieces we need to make. Do a slanted block. And a merge block. Let's get this repaired really quick. Have the merge block extend a, a piece so it doesn't knock off the catwalk, taking out our window right there. Missing a few constructions, small steel tubes, more computers. small steel tubes. Well, that's processing. Get back to scrapping this guy down a little bit more. few more cargo containers. particular on getting the um, the name of the cargo container to show up all facing the same direction so bear with me while I flip this block around and get it aligned the way it's my OCD perfection style I, th I think that'll do it oh, but we don't have interior plate we don't have much interior plate Oh, 
Nice. Yay! All we did was change a few of the, the variables to or um, ingot and component. And whatever cargo container that you have that has this in the, the custom name, it'll locate it and start putting all the, the items that it finds straight into it, auto combine them, and all that fancy kind of stuff. Lights barely have like any construction components, con components, but it, it kind of wastes a little bit of time, keeps us busy, entertained, I guess, while we're waiting for our assembler to, to make a few more. So, what else will have uh, the construction components? Uh, the gun should have a few. Make sure we take the ammo out of this first. Yeah, this is gonna get us going pretty good. I mean, sc scrapping these uh, cargo vessels just helps out a lot. We need to go get some energy. Been grinding a little bit too much. I like to think when I, I'm regaining the energy it's like cleaning my suit out of all the the bio waste, all the fecal matter that I, I, I put in it, you know, and feeds me too while I'm at it. <laughs> material with that. Just looks great. Woohoo! That's awesome. Let's go over here. From our terminal. Go 
go ahead and run this program. If we look at our storage containers, cargo containers, just the one that says ore has stuff in it. Now, if we go over and run that program, should probably make sure it didn't break, huh? Looks good. Check out the inventory for cargo. And we can see that ingots have been moved over to this. We've got components all moved into this one. And we've got ore and the leftover, which was the, the drill, was moved into or was left at that one position. And there's another mining carriage. Oh, that is so tempting. Uh, this one up here is going to take us a while to grind down, so... Speaking of color... So it's not as noticeable. Funny thing is, I started doing my conveyors and reactors all red based on the this color scheme of this ship. doing a little bit of grinding, uh, moving some stuff into the, the connector on this ship. And I think it's about time we put a merge block on this one um, so we can link both of the ships up together. So I like to grind up the back portion right by the antenna. And with the way that the merge block is on our little starter ship when we connect them, we won't get blasted by the those huge thrusters right there see what else we need to or can grab out of this all the the loot that we we pulled off of this ship so far we're using to make everything that we're doing small steel tubes and two computers not bad Right, get that merge block done. I think we'll uh, put these two ships up. Um, you know, since we took over the connector and cargo containers, we can just lock right into this thing and start processing all the ore that should be in this. And let's see if we can just. Ooh, uh, depth perception is uh, pretty tough in this game. <laughs> works well in real life because you actually know the size of the object without having like an idea of <laughs> the size of these things. Um, depth perception doesn't really work, you know, with two eyes, so. <laughs> so thank God we can maneuver the, the cameras around and even, even with that ability, uh, I don't know, especially when we're recording these things, it seems like it's difficult to to do a really basic hookup. <laughs> Run this program. See how our cargo is doing. Still have some space. Looks like the ammo didn't come over because we didn't set anything for that. It looks like it pulled 
almost everything. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get these two merged together. I think that'll be about time for the episode. Probably just have some boring grinding episodes next. Hmm. together as soon as it's complete. And there they go. Yay! I think we'll call the episode here for the time. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And we will see you next time.